Welcome back to question two of this series where we calculate the vapor pressure of a solution containing an ionic solute. This time our question reads, a solution contains 0.115 moles of water and an unknown number of moles of sodium chloride. The vapor pressure of the solution at 30 degrees Celsius is 25.7 torr. The vapor pressure of pure water at 30 degrees Celsius is 31.8 torr. Calculate the number of moles of sodium chloride in the solution. Unlike in question number one, we're actually working backwards here. So they give us the pressure of the solution, and I'll highlight that. It's 25.7 torr. Using Ryoules's law, I can actually use that along with the partial pressure of water, which is also given, to find the mole fraction. Let's go ahead and do that. We have 25.7, I'm using this formula right here in case you're confused, torr is equal to the mole fraction of water multiplied to the partial pressure of water 31.8 torr. Now dividing both sides by 31.8 to isolate for this variable, we end up with 25.7 divided by 31.8 giving us a mole fraction of 0 0.8081. Remember that this number is unitless, so keep it that way. We are looking for the number of moles of sodium chloride. So we'll use the mole fraction relationship also shown here. And that formula is 0 0.8081, that's the mole fraction. It's equal to the moles of the solvent. Let's see if that's given. Yes, we're given 0 0.115. That goes at the top, 0 0.115 moles of water over 0 0.115 moles of water, we're finding the total number of moles, plus I times X. X will represent the number of moles of our ionic molecule, sodium chloride. Sodium chloride completely dissociates. And if we look at its dissociation equation, we have sodium chloride and it forms sodium cations and calcium anions. This means that the von Hoff factor here has to be two because we have two ions that it breaks down into. That's good news for us because now we can substitute two into there and all we have really is an algebraic problem. So we have two times x, I need to solve for this x and that will give me the answer. Multiply both sides by the denominator and this gives us 0 0.115 moles plus 2x. And just for clarity's sake, I'm not going to write the units. That's being multiplied to 0 0.8081 is equal to 0 0.115 moles. The next thing I'll do is divide both sides by this factor, and that will get rid of that, 0 0.8081. And then, after finding the answer to this, I will bring this over, transpose it to the other side. So let's use our calculator. First, 0 0.115 divided by 0. Point, that's the answer. And then moving 0 0.115 over, that negates it, so it makes it negative. We get that. And on the left side, all we have left is 2x. To isolate for x, we divide both sides by 2. So I'll divide that by 2. And we get x is equal to 0 0.013. And let's make sure that we have the correct number of significant figures. It should be three significant figures. So the first discarded number is the 5. And 6 is the first kept number since 5 is followed by other numbers, 4, 5, 6. We can push that up to 7 moles. So that number right there represents the number of moles of sodium chloride. And that is how to calculate vapor pressure of a solution containing an ionic solute.